good morning you guys Liliana here from vanilla and canela here welcome back to my channel and to another video i've got you on the windowsill upstairs because i did not bring tripods they're in the truck somewhere right i am going into town this morning today's monday the monday the 15th yes 15th of april I'm going into town because I need to get uniform for Alex, who starts school tomorrow, and for Ozzy. Ozzy's starting um, preschool, which is at the school, so you need uniform. Now, Ozzy's only going to go in for an hour at a time this week, so he doesn't really need uniform. But if I see it, I'll get it, kind of thing. I am going to go to Sainsbury's and do that. Yeah, while I'm there, I'm going to get some food to last us a couple of days i don't want to get loads and remind me later when i show you this massive haul of food that i got i'm gonna really try not to that i have a tesco's delivery already arranged for saturday so we get in our house on thursday um we actually stay here in this house thursday night and friday is our first day there I make sure I'll make sure we have some stuff to last us until the Saturday because I want to make sure that the fridge is plugged in and we have situated ourselves a little bit so I can put the food away you know you know how it goes uh, but yeah, excuse me I've got hiccups today I'm going into town mainly to get the uniform get a few bits and bobs food wise <laughs> Just see someone on the bike going past with a little trailer with a kid inside. So cute. Um, yeah, so it's a working day uh, for most people here. God, my eyebrows look really light, don't they? They look really grey. Um, they have got a few grey hairs in it. I can see my hair. Anyway, focus, focus, focus. Yeah, I'm going to go do that. And I, I really wanted, TK Maxx is just like across the road. So I really wanted to pop into TK Maxx as well. <sighs> yeah. And see if I can get, uh, I want a new diary. Anyway, I'm going to bring you along for this day. Also, this, at lunchtime today, I'm taking Alex and his two friends. I say his two friends two of his friends um to lunch oh, what is that sorry i am so easily distracted these days anyway i'm gonna take them to mcdonald's and it's sort of like these are the two friends that he stayed in touch with they were his best friends here and you know you guys know what i mean oh what's happening traffic mm -hmm. i'm so nosy anyway focus focus um, yeah so i'm taking them for lunch to mcdonald's so i will have to sit at a different table and refrain from making eye contact with uh, alex and his friends but fine <laughs> i thought that would be like a really cool idea so tomorrow when he starts school he's really already spent some time with a couple of them everyone's very happy to, for him to be back, we've already been told that, but anyway, I'm gonna stop chatting. I'm gonna go on Hello, my you guys. So, I'm back from Sainsbury's and I also went to TK Maxx. So, you know how I said I wasn't gonna, gonna go and get loads of stuff because I don't really need it, and I didn't get loads. I didn't. Like, stop being so judgmental. Let me show you what I got food wise. Okay. Let's start in here. There's a me uh, pecan pie with um, this one and a chocolate twist. And there's also some milk chocolate cookies. I then have some smoothies for the boys, some honey. I also got lemons because Paul is sick, so he loves a toddy. Got some sugar, egg bites, ham. I also got Paul Hocktail for sandwich. Paul will go insane. This is his favourite. I got a house salad, some mashed potatoes. I know it looks a bit random. Some cream. The cream is going to go with that apple crumble. Uh, I got some cheesecake as well. And then I got a couple of things, mainly Alice 
to be like focus on Alex, which is a chicken which is already cooked for school lunches, and then these gyoza, I think they're called, prawn ones. Um, as well, I got him some rice, roasted garlic rice. I think that would be nice. Um, fruit platter, garlic bread. Got some of these broccoli and cauliflower. Got some cheese, grated cheese. And then I have some macaroni cheese here as well. Some lasagna, chili con carne, beef bourguignon and ribs. So as you can see, I mainly got um, ready meals. That's because this house is very basic. They haven't got decent pans or, you know, there's no uh, seasoning. So I just thought, let's keep it simple. And also I want to relax as much as possible from our trip because come Thursday, all hell's going to break loose with all our stuff and all of that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to get really yummy food and I forgot Sainsbury's always comes up trumps, don't they? They are more expensive, but they are... I see them as a tree. So anyway, that's all the food I got, but that's not everything that I got, is it? No, it isn't. First of all, they are killing it with the dresses, you guys. They have so many. They're all 22 pounds, which is not a bad, a bad shout. Um, I went for this one. Yeah, 22 pounds. Can you see that? Yeah. I have not bought a dress since before I left. I lie actually. I bought one that my in I got my in-laws to bring it out there with with to me, sorry. But that is thing. But that is it. And my dresses are starting like you can see they're a bit thin around the armpits. They're starting to need replacing. What a shame, what a shame. So um I have been like you guys know that I'm into all the different savings and I have like a pot for clothes that I've been like putting money in every month, knowing that by the time I got back, this is before I knew I was coming back early, that I would need replacing. So I've got plenty, plenty, I want to say plenty, it's not loads, but I've got money there to buy dresses. So I went for this one. Um, of all the ones, I went for this one because this one seemed to be the one that does not need ironing. And you guys know I'm allergic to ironing. Anyway, so I got this. Let me put it on and see if I can show you. Guys, I'm not going to show you. It does not look good. Um, I'm going to take it back. It was too loose in certain areas and too tight in certain areas. And the static was unreal. What material is this? It's quite a heavy material. Um, 96 polyester, 4% elastane. I should know better really, but... That's a shame, it's still a beautiful dress. Uh, so I will be returning that. That's okay, they had plenty more. So yeah, um, unfortunately I couldn't get any of the uniform that I was hoping to get for the boys, none of it. So I'm gonna have to go to Tesco's this afternoon. Um, but I did get Aussie some um, leggings, like jogging bottoms kind of thing. Um, they had, these were £10 for two. It's not the best deal, is it? But I also got him some socks. He needs some new socks. So I got these, look very cute, with a crocodile. Lovely colours. That was a fiver. I also got some paracetamol, which is the Calpol version for Aussie, because we completely run out, so... I need to make sure I had some and then you guys I I meant to go home but then I saw the aisles the habitat aisles and I thought let me just have a peek I know they're not gonna have anything I like but I'm just gonna go and have a peek you already know they had something that I liked how stunning are the mugs so I've been here like three days I've got three mugs um, I'm tempted to go back. I actually, this pattern, these colours, is everything of me, 100%. So I might go back and get some more. They're stackable as well, you guys. How much were they? 
I'll put it on the screen. I don't know why I can't, but I just sort of went blind when I saw them and I was like, oh, got to have them. And I also got something else. Got this. It's like a fruit bowl, so it's wooden. Or salad bowl, I guess. Um, it doesn't say. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use it as a fruit bowl. And again, I thought that was beautiful, right? So then I popped over to TK Maxx. So it wasn't terrible. So between the food and the stuff that I got, I spent almost £150. But obviously the dress is going back. Um, but yeah, it's for a few days. It's fine. It's fine. I went to TK Maxx and all I wanted to get was a um, diary, journal, diary, not journal, a diary. Like I was saying, the only thing I wanted to get from Ticket Max was a diary and a diary I got. I paid four pounds because obviously we're already in April. I don't care, it's fine. Um, but this is what it looks like. This is my sort of favorite setup, big days. I've already put some notes in here that I need to transfer, um, sorry. I just thought that was gorgeous, gorgeous. I did end up buying, I always take the science route. This was 4 dollars it's by Bevy Button Designs and it's just a pad. I do not actually have any idea what I'm gonna use it for, but we'll see. Anyway, I better get ready because I've got to take Alex on his lunch date, but I'll check in with you guys a bit Hello, later. Guys. So it's actually the next day because life happens. I did go to Tesco's in the afternoon, big mistake, big, big mistake. I ended up spending 230 pounds and then realizing that I didn't have my club card. So I had to go back today because I had 50 pounds worth of discounts um, that needed applying for the club card. So really, 180 that I spent, but I got loads of stuff and good deals, I think, personally. And it's all stuff that I needed-ish. More towels. Now, you guys saw that I bought some from B&M. You would have seen that by now. And I bought those for £12 each, the bath sheets. I bought these for 9 50 So big as well. Um, 9 50 that these were which is it's an incredible price so they were half price but you have to have your club card um, so I intended to replace um, my towels the ones that I have I have the Orla Kylie ones I've had them it's got to be what nine years something maybe it's time so I bought two more bath sheets so now I have four and I also have a blue set I don't know if you guys remember that I bought um, when I was in Italy, and but they those are a lot smaller, so I'm going to use those for the boys and the the white ones for us and any guests. So I bought two bath sheets and two sort of hand towels. The hand towels were four fifty, and this is the brand West Park. So I was very very pleased with that. And um, yeah, so I got. Like I said, two hand towels, two bath sheets. I'm gonna wash them in a minute because my intention is to have like fresh towels. The first night we stay at our new house, we have everything ready to have a bath in that, or you know, shower that evening because we're gonna be knackered. Uh, now, the other thing that I wasn't expecting to get, but I still think was a great deal, was a duvet cover, a super king duvet cover. Now, look can see the picture it's very plain it's got a little ruffle which I liked but it's called a pure well, fox and from by fox and ivy uh, pure cotton duvet duvet set washed for a wonderfully extra soft feel um, and it has you won't be able to tell the look of linen without being priced like the linen duvet are duvets are I have wanted one for ages but they're way over 100 200 pounds for a super king duvet so it's really soft I can tell already like it's one of those that's going to get softer as you wash it it is naturally wrinkly which I love it just gives it that 
instead of giving it that crispness, it gives it that come to bed feel, you know, like this is a comfortable bed. I don't know why. So it is sort of an off-white. Uh, what colour do they? They don't actually say, but it's definitely, it's definitely not white. And I'm going to show you. It's more like a cream. I'm sorry, the lighting is here. Here it's terrible like that but if I show you I also got a um, fitted sheet sorry and this is pure white again you can't tell here very well sorry and um, yeah so this was 36 pounds which if you have a super king bed you know that's a good really good price a steal even and um, I also got this was also an offer I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen. I'm sure it was like 11, 12 pounds from 28. Or maybe it was 14. I think it was all half price, 14. But that's still awesome. It's a 300 thread count, 100% cotton, deep fitted sheet. Again, it's that West brand, West Park brand. Love that. I also got these on a whim. I thought these were really cute. Let me show you. I think, especially because I tend to go for very plain bedding, not always, that when I do the plain bedding, I like adding a little pop of colour or whims, whimsy. I thought these were really good too. Um, you can get duvets, but for this, there was no like Super King duvet. It was only goes up to King king most of the range of tesco's goes to king um but some the fox and ivy you can get super king so i paid five pounds for two i thought that that was quite good um yes is that it no i also got another two pillowcases and white um yes got that as well and then I got something for myself. I've got a pair of pajamas, you guys. These are like stretchy. You can see. Really, really lovely. These were £22.50. They are so so soft. They've got that the neckline. You've got the neck. Anyway, they're navy blue and I think they are really lovely. Tesco's let me tell you that Tesco's Games is, I, I don't know, I've not been to Asda yet, but wow, the home decor, the clothes, the pyjamas, they are killing it, absolutely killing it. I wanted to buy ton loads of other stuff. They had such lovely, lovely things for uh, decorating your home. A lot of like strawberries and uh, oranges inspired stuff. Oh, super cute. I did not buy any of that. I bought what you've just seen um, and here you go this is the pajama bottoms uh, very cute with the, the little lace so that's the only thing I got for myself I got Paul nothing right Paul enjoys my company that's enough uh, then I got Alex some pajamas he really needed some more these are still long sleeve it is very cold in the UK by the way you guys so I just got this and it comes with the um, trousers. There you go. And so it was a set of two for 16 pounds. And this is the other one. It's like this, this sort of, do I love it? I don't, but I think for his age, he's getting like that preteen, teen situation. This is the best. This is the best. I wish I was still buying him stuff with loads of dinosaurs, but it's a no from him. And then I also picked up some stuff for their uniform for, which was, what was is this? Alex, I got a three pack of these polo shirts. He's only gonna be at this school for one semester before he goes off to big school, so. 750 that's fine he can wear the same trousers he wore at his previous school is they're the same and then tomorrow i'm going to the school um one of his friends gave him a polo 
uh, jumper thing that has a school name and logo and I'm gonna go to the school tomorrow and they do a sale like you know a second-hand uniform sale so I'm gonna see if I can get him maybe one or two more jumpers bearing in mind that we're about to head to summer this is literally to last him until July so um, Aussie I am gonna buy again first have a look at the jumpers in the secondhand sale and if they don't have anything I can buy him brand new stuff knowing that he's gonna wear it a lot longer I also got him some trousers stop it because his preschool wears uniform and I got him his own little set so this the set is actually four to five pretty sure yeah four to five the trousers are three to four so I'm gonna try it out and if these are too big I'll buy them the lower size but this was what was available in Tesco's so I got him those and then for Aussie stop it they come with shorts but I thought right now long sleeve it's really hard because he is really struggling for clothes and I thought I'll wait until I get back to to England and then buy him some um, stuff there but obviously it's it's at that point where no one's buying winter clothes anymore because we're heading towards summer so it's actually quite hard to find items for him um, so I got him this little set it's a jumper and it comes with shorts and right now he can't wear the shorts but for sure the jumper I got like little vests you can put underneath I thought this was really cute this was 14 pounds so it wasn't the cheapest but I thought it was cute and then I got a couple of bargains I got some jeans. This is three to four. They're in a sale. They cost me four pounds. So I actually got the next size up. So they're bigger. I thought, well, I might as well for four pounds when he grows out of those. And I like it that they're like elasticated. I thought they were really cute. They were four pounds each. Is that everything I got? That is everything I got from Tesco's. Now I'm gonna wash all of it and get, get on with it. This wasn't really supposed to be like another haul, but it just turned into that. I hope you guys don't mind. The next video you'll see will definitely be the moving in, the, you know, the um, empty house tour. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.